Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. Let's start here, bringing you another Hexit Let's Play episode as we explore the world of Hexit. And as you know, we've been working very hard before we took our little break from the series on our Hexit house themed after Skyrim. And this is definitely probably one of my favorite houses or structures that I've actually built Minecraft. The level of detail on the outside, oh, I just absolutely love it. All right, so what we're gonna do in today's episode is start to work on the interior design. Hey there, Bob the Creeper Inspector. Just doing a little inspecting. Bet you didn't know I had the giant sword of death. <laughs> All right, so we're, like, well, like I was talking about before Bob interrupted us was, we are going to start to add the decorational details to the house. And the main mod we're gonna use for this is Bibliocraft. Now, as you can see, Bibliocraft here, I have in the uh, sub item set here. So I just selected just it. And I'm gonna actually close that door behind us. So no more creeper inspectors come up and behind us. All right, so what we're gonna use is we're gonna use some of these birch tool racks and different things like that. We're gonna probably kind of avoid the gold lantern. That's just a little bit odd. But of course, if you want recipes for any of these different things, you just go over here, click R, and then you know, here's your uh, potion rack and you know, put potion bottle, half slabs, you know, full planks and so forth. So that's pretty cool. And we're gonna get started here now. And let's see here. So we're the first room we're gonna work on is here. This is gonna be kind of our trophy room or our room where we put our armor. That's more on display than in actual use at the time. That's at least my thought process on that. Then we're gonna move on to here and we're going to put a big fireplace in the middle of the room. So I've been playing a little bit of Skyrim recently and one thing I did notice about some of the architecture or at least the design of the interior was they have a lot of fireplaces built into the floor and it looked really cool and I thought that's something we need to add here but we need to be mindful of course not to burn down our house. So that's what we're going to be working on. So let's get straight into it here. And let's see here, let's see here. We're gonna start with our armor racks. And this of course is from Bibliocraft. You will need iron for this particular uh, item here. So we're gonna put those right there. So when we come in, we have some suits of armor flanking the sides of our entrance. I think that'll look pretty nice. And of course, let's get out our tool bench and you'll need iron for this also. Um, let's see, how high do we wanna go? I could probably go about right there. And we'll put that right there. There we go, I like that. Well, think about putting one above here. I'm not sure if I will or not. Okay, let's see here. Let's get out our shells and our bookcases. And my favorite thing of all are these sword pedestals. And I believe this is from Legendary Craft made with four smooth stones. And they're three across, one on the top. I believe that was the recipe. And you just stick that in there. You stick your sword in there. And I believe this can also send out a redstone pulse. There we go, perfect, there we go, put that down like so. And yeah, there we go, all right, so let's actually get out our bookcases. And it is, mm, wait, 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 I don't wanna put them there. I actually wanna put these here, there we go. And we can put our books that we find on our travels through there. So it's really good to finally be back in the series. Oh, darn it, I always sometimes do this. All right, come on, come on, get out of there, there you go. All right, so I did it again, get out of there, okay. So like I was trying to say before the shelf was stealing my shelves was it's really good to be back in Hexit. So we took a little break from it and I'm sorry about that because you know it was only supposed to be a bit just a week or two but unfortunately it turned out to be a little bit longer but we're finally back into it and it's really nice to be back and getting going here and we're going to have one of the coolest, coolest Hexit houses of all time here. Here we go. So every time we come back from a long adventure, we know we have a really awesome place to come back to. Awesome, look at that. We have that, just that little niche back there. It just adds a little extra depth and detail to it. I think that looks really nice. All right, perfect, very good. So we're gonna come back in a little bit and add, of course, the armors and the swords and the items in our item frames. But for now, we're just gonna kind of leave it like that for now. There we go. And of course, if you guys have any other suggestions or anything along those lines, definitely let me know on how to organize or if there's any other sword or item frame type things we can add, that would be definitely pretty cool. Okay, so let's move on over here and let's start to map out what we wanna do here. So first things first, before we get to anything, I'm gonna kind of just add some little bit of detail up here. There we go. So what we wanna do in this room, of course, like I talked about is add that fireplace. So we're just gonna put those up there like so, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of cut out the center here. So I'm gonna look for the center here. And I remembered 
I need to go, of course, to the nether to find what we need. But then I remembered there was that little battle tower that we um, went to in the, I believe, I'm not sure, it was about three or four episodes into our adventuring, and it had, you know, some burning um, torch things, and that was, of course, netherrack. So I didn't actually have to go to the nether to get my netherrack, which I believe is in here. No, not in there. Where are you? There it is. So, good. There we go. Got that, and I need this, and in case we burn down our house, I've got that. So, Good, I didn't have to go to the nether yet, so that was nice. And what we're doing here is we're just gonna kind of fill this in like so. There we go. Yeah, so I spent about, oh man, I, must, I spent probably about a day and a half trying to get us on a better footing, of course, for our Hexit house here. And it has taken a long time, but I think it's well worth it to gather, you know, the supplies. But for the most part, gathering supplies in Hex, it's really not that bad because, of course, the tree mod where you knock down the tree instantly and you've got a stack of 64 really quick. So that always makes really nice, um, that makes makes it really nice to get a lot of resources in this particular mode. You know, that'd be pretty nifty on Skyland. All right, there we go. So what we're doing, we're just kind of slowly encasing our fireplace here and getting that kind of loaded up. And this thing, I this thing's gonna look amazing when it's done, I hope. There we go. So I did do a couple little tests kind of with how far I can really place things without catching it on fire, but I think we're gonna probably be good. So what we're doing here, just crazy creating a little box encasing around our fireplace, but adding some of these half slabs, trying to kind of create these little kind of niches down there, just adds a little extra detail. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I think I'm going to add, I'm going to remove this layer also. There we go. So I'm going to remove this layer and add maybe, maybe some spruce wood. I think it's a little bit of spruce wood just mix up the floor color a little bit. And you know, we got to make sure we have our fireplaces. We're sitting on snow, of course. There we go. Perfect. Um, let's see. Let's actually knock you out, put you in there. And we're going to run this along here. There we go. Let's just run this along this in here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to actually remove these oak um, half slabs that we have on our side here and possibly do maybe some stairs. We'll, we'll think about that. There we go. Oh, I like it. I like that. That adds quite a bit of extra detail to the room. And let's see. Let's actually light this thing up. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Let's light her up. Oh, that looks amazing. All right, and let's just take these cobblestone walls, and I was thinking maybe we could stick them on the sides here, like that, there we go. And I was trying to come up with maybe a way to, you know, maybe put some type of cook stove over it, but like the house in White Room, but I, I couldn't figure out at the moment how to do that, but maybe in the maybe in the future. And yeah, I like that so far. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to look at this, see if there's any other improvements and let me capture my breath and I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. So still over here making a few more sticks for a little design I want to add to our columns. So just adding, getting a couple more of those guys. There we go. That should be good. All right. So let's head back on inside. So we'll close the door behind us. There we go. And this is what I've been working on. Just a little bit of design change. So I'm working on these little columns over here. So I'm just gonna remove that for now. And I'm going to run these kind of on the sides a little bit. Just add a little more extra detail there. And then I'm going to put these along here and we're gonna put our torches on those. So we're actually gonna have them sit on top of those, but we'll remove them in a minute. Remove the torches, of course, put them on top. All right, so let's just actually finish up this area right here. So we'll just remove these. One thing that's a little bit annoying is there's a few pieces of ice under us. And then the half slabs, of course, you can slide on top of that. So we need to knock out that ice in a minute. There we go. Get that all out of there. Let's see here. So I'm going to go click, clock, click, and put you right there and there. Perfect. And then just fill this in. Whoops. Fill that in all the way across here. And there we go. Perfect. So yeah, it's really like I was saying a little bit ago, it's nice to be back. And it's definitely a little bit difficult to have so many like building projects at once, you know, working on the modern house and working on things at Scarland. It's just sometimes it just takes takes your toll on you a little bit when you have so many things you're, you know, you're trying to think of design wise. So that's why we kind of took a little bit of a break from here. But it'll be really nice to get back to uh, adventuring in the world of Hexit soon. So just a few more episodes, we'll finish this up, have a real awesome house. 
and then we'll be back to adventuring. So that'll be really fun to get back into it. Go explore the world. I definitely want to go back to the Death Star. I think we're I think we're good enough to uh, go there at this point. Go see what's going on up there. And when I went out into that little battle tower to get the Netherrack, I did see there was two more battle towers over there we can deal with. And yeah, so I think that's pretty good here. So let's see here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. So let's see. What else do we need to do here? I think that's good for that room. Now we need to populate these shells with different things. So my thoughts are, you know, as we see different types of cool blocks we find on our adventure, we can stick them on these racks along here. And of course, you know, tools and things of that nature. And then we need to add our swords and armor and things. So give me one second again. I'm going to go get the armor and the tools and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I got some of my stuff out of my box. So these are different swords and weapons that we've collected along our journey. So I'm going to put you in there. Whoop. Oh, that's too bad. You can't put that one in there. Let's see if you can put this one in there. Perfect. Good, good, good. Let's see if you can actually do this one. There we go. Awesome. Good. So now at least we have some color, some extra little color added in here. So you, I guess, are going to have to go up there. Well, well that that particular tool looks a little bit... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, let's see here. Let's put you up here. There we go. And we'll fill those in as we go along. So then click on here, and then you can just add these guys right on in there. And then look at that. Man, can you even imagine if we had that in vanilla Minecraft? That would be awesome. That would truly be awesome. And then we'll just stick you on there like that. Got us nice suits of armor built up there. And then for our shelves, I'm thinking here, so let's actually just bring some of these pieces down. You know, add some of these guys in there as we go along. So let's maybe stick those in there. The worst thing ever added into the game, the Chocopedia. We can stick that up there. Uh, the other little pieces of tools. Let's see. Let's actually put some stuff on this side. There we go. Stick that on there. Because, you know, of course, we're, we're adventuring along in the world. We're going to find a lot of crazy stuff that we're going to stick in here. There we go. And for our bookshelf, let's just add a couple books on this one. Um, let's add another one there. There we go. We don't have too many books, so we'll just stick the rest on here like, oh, nope, 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 nope. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we don't have a ton of stuff yet, but uh, yeah, I think it's starting to look pretty nice. What do you guys think? I think we are just about there. We forgot those one pillars left, so let's just jump back over here. So let's see here. Oh, oh, I forgot these guys. Let's definitely put some creeper heads in there. There we go. Put you... I'll put you, perfect, and we'll put some of this stuff in that shelf. That'll look really cool. Um, anything else? Let's see. We could put our bottles maybe. Oh, no, we'll save those for the potion rack. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably good. So let's run back over here. And let's find a place for these guys. These will look awesome in here. I remember back before we took our little break. Oh, that's cool. Um, before we took our little break, I remember a subscriber mentioned that there's a bunch of other heads in the game. So that'll be really cool to find. Ooh, that looks awesome right there. These are so cool. Oh my gosh, I wish we had these in vanilla Minecraft. That would be totally epic. There we go. All right, so let's just finish up this last post that we forgot. There we go. And there we go. I think that looks absolutely awesome. What do you guys think? I would love to hear your opinion on this fireplace. So far, we haven't burnt down the house, so that's always a plus. And now we have this little armor room set up over here. And, well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. The, uh, in the Presidio in San Francisco, where the Disney Family Museum is is somewhere that George Lucas, you know George Lucas, who made the uh, Star Wars movies and Indiana Jones movies, super cool guy, um, he uh, wants to build this amazing museum there. But the procedure is like, just like,